Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to this Let's Play of the Rim World. Now, we le we picked up more or less where we left off. We have our our three um, three colonists. We have Grumpy here, who is the an inventor who likes uh, artistic, uh, growing in research. He he has a photographic memory, and he's a leper. We have Tigress, wonderful name who is a female colonist, age 28. She was a slave, she became a, cur uh, a herbalist, she's sexually inexperienced, and she's gullible. And we have somewhere else, where are you? Here, 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 come, 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 little colonist, where are you? Where are you? There you are, we have Jono. Jono is... Uh, a Hivewood child who became a microbiologist. He's incapable of doing things that are scary. He's a gunsmith and he's careful. And for a careful person, he recently took a boom rat to the face, which is not a good thing. So here we are. We're building a little bit of structure here. The idea here is we're going to have a living area here, and this area is going to be crafting. So we will do food work, we will do um, stone crafting, little bits and pieces like that in this area. Tigress, what are you up to? What are you doing? You're idle. Why? Okay, let's find a job for you. Tigress. Alright, you like cooking. You like growing. In fact, there we go. There's a job for you. Let's get a cooking uh, station in place. So, let's start that one off. Seeing as we're putting the food here, we will put them down the side here. So, you will... This is, this is furniture. No, misc. No, production. Production. So, a butcher's table there. And a cook stove here. A um, little bit close, aren't they? It would mean that uh, nobody will be able to butcher and cook at the same time. So, what we'll do is we'll put the cook stove there and we'll find a use for that space there. And we're going to need to get some power cabling down there, so let's do that now. Uh, so what we will do is we will stick a power conduit down the side there, and that will do. We also, to be honest with you, need to put some light in the place, but let's get that sorted out first. Tigress, are you going to build? Who's starving? Why are you starving, Tigress? Um, okay, let's work out why you're starving. Do we have any food? We have food. We have food that is here. You could just come and eat it. Why aren't you coming and eating it? Okay. All right, let's give you a job. That'll take your mind off of things. All right. I'm... Okay, let's increase your priority for constructing for now. We'll put it back later on, but that at least will get you something to do. Are you, can you not get out of there? Are you blocked? Right. No path there. Ah, there's a tree there. Okay, so I know what your next job is. Your next job is to cut down this tree. Come on. Cut it down. Cut it down. Come on, Tigress. Cut it down. I know you can do it. Let's have a look at your um, plant cutting. Here we go. There you go. Come on. You can do it. You can't do it because you can't reach it. Okay, let's get one of the other ones to do it. Where are you, other ones? Where are you? What are you doing? There we go. Jono. You're a doer if ever I saw one. Cut down this oak tree. There we go. Come on, before Tigress has a nervous breakdown. Come on. Yes, and even Tigress has worked out what to do. Come on, you can do it. Well done, Tigress. And she's going to get something to eat. That's good. Okay, so while I'm thinking about it, let's get all the plants in this area cut. And there's quite a few of them. Tempted to leave that little oak, that, that little cactus there, just growing forlornly in the dark, but no. Right, so that's a uh, job. So let's go and put some of your 
um, for missions back. So that was a three, and you know what? We don't actually have someone prioritizing that, so that can go as a two. There you go, Tigress. Go and get yourself something to eat. You'll feel better in just a minute. Alright, so... We've got all these, these lovely buffalo here, so that is going to be plenty of food later on. Muffalo, sorry, not buffalo, muffalo. I've been playing Don't Starve a little bit recently, which has got beefalo, which is, you know, just confusing me. So who's exhausted? Tigress. Gosh, you're in a terrible way, aren't you? What are you doing? You're going to sleep. That's good. You'll feel better in a little bit. There we go. So what are you thinking at the moment? Your thoughts. Okay, you've chatted with people, you're happy with the spacious interior, but you're unhappy that you ate off the ground, you're slept on the ground, you're sharing the bedroom, and you were tired, but you're getting better now. That's good. Okay, where are we? We've got another crop growing. We've got a little bit of food here. I think we're going to be alright still. We're still finding these packaged meals from somewhere. That's going to keep us going. You've detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful in the wreckage. What do we have here? Uranium. No use to us at all until we start selling. But let's pick it up nonetheless. There we go. There, Tigress is a bit happier now she's had some to eat. We're clearing out the area. That's good. And perhaps we'll get a little bit more food out of it as well. Who's con who's doing this construction? Um, Tigress is actually our constructor, isn't she? So I think you've actually got a little bit too much on three. So let's put that up to four. Um, let's stop you growing for now because Grumpy's doing the growing for us. That's good, and he's uh, well, he's not as good as you, but he'll get there. So you are construction, repairing, cooking, and plant cutting. So once the plant cutting's done, you'll pick up the construction. Which is good. That'll do for now. There we go. Nearly done, as a matter of fact. Gosh, you're efficient, Tigress. You're well, very good at this. And we've got a little wood into the bargain as well. Where hey. So today I want us to get this in, this in, these stations built, and we'll get some cooking bills going. There, that's being done already. And I also, and this is a good time to do it, I want to put some lights in. So that is furniture, standard lamp. So let's get some let's get some lights in where we're sleeping. So we'll put one there. It's too dark to see if I did that. And we'll do one there and let's do one there for now and that that should illuminate the area a little bit oh a red a group of pirates from the gray sledgehammers have arrived in drop pods nearby they will prepare for a while and then attack let's have a look at them a group a drifter called miriam right let's go and deal with that jono and grumpy drafted Let's go and sort out this Miriam. So let's go up here first. Let's have a quick look at Miriam while we're waiting. Stand still! Yeah, Miriam is a pirate. She is a scout, a space pirate. She's incapable of intellectual and artistic, but actually she's looking pretty good. So, don't want you guys fighting, uh, shooting her. So just run around there and melee attack her, okay? There we go. There we go. That's wonderful. She's now incapacitated. So let's build ourselves. This room isn't quite off yet, but this one is. So let's build ourselves a sleeping spot in here. And let's mark that as a prisoner bed. So then we can catch her, her and perhaps talk her into being part of the colony. So Grumpy, thank you for your work. That's it. And Jono, capture Miriam the pirate. Grumpy, actually, while you're there, 
pick up that pistol. There we go. Excellent. Did we pick up the other pistols? Not yet, but they're on our list of things to do. That's fine. So, look, we now have some light, which is good. We're still sharing this room, but we'll, we'll be turning those people out later on. This room needs much more light, but uh, Tigris is working away quite merrily on that, so that's excellent. Another crop of food, which is good, because we're getting down to nothing. And we started to pick up some of that uranium, which is no use to us at all at the moment. For all it says, it powers reactors. The next step for this, once we get the cooking in place, is we are going to have to... Oh, she's helping herself to food. That's fine. Um, once we have the cooking in place, what we need to do then is sort out a researching table so we can get some extra skills and items done. And there we go. There's our cooking table in place. There's our butchery table in place. So let's set up some bills. Add a bill. Butcher creature. Continue forever. If there's a there's corpse, let's get it butchered and let's uh, make some meat out of it. And cooking. We'll just make simple meals for at the moment and we will cook um, until we have... What do you have? One, two, three, four. Let's do it until we have eight. There we go. Uh, we don't need to do any of that just yet. Fine. That's that sorted. And now, Miriam, my dear, let's have a look at you. As a prisoner, let's try to recruit you, and let's do so with friendly chats. That's good. Not happy dropping you off with the food at the moment, but the, I think what we'll do once we've got the researching table into place is... What we'll do with you is we will actually make a prison complex, which we, I think what we'll do is we'll do over here. Which is possibly going to be our second big um, mining project. But in the meantime, we're looking pretty good. A group of travellers from the Sun's Tree are passing by and don't care. Okay, let's move on. In fact, let's uh, start thinking about this a little bit. So, orders, mine, let's clear this corner up a little bit. All right, so if we mine that out, then we can put a wall in around there. And we've got a little bit more space for stuff there. And... We also want to get these rocks out of the way, I think, because they're just going to slow people down. Okay, so who's our who's our cook? Who is our cook? Um, overview, cooking, cooking. Uh, Tigris is our cook. Tigris is perhaps doing a little bit too much. Grumpy, what's the problem? You were tired, were you? And you're starving. Why don't you eat something then, you fool? Eat something. Oh, I know why. I know why. I know why. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Right. Architect. Orders. Structure. Furniture. That's the one. Right. I'm sorry about this, Miriam, but you're going to this horrible, crack crappy room. There we go, because we'll turn that back to a colonist bed, and now somebody is going to come and move you through. And then, people can start using the food in here. Silly me. In fact, Grumpy, while you're... At, while you're can you do anything? Prioritise wardening. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Well done, Grumpy. Have yourself some potatoes as a reward. That's great, man. That's great. So what are you still grumpy about? Eight raw food, a very ugly environment, sharing bedroom. Oh, a hideous environment now, hey? Oh, that's because it's not walled off, is it? Well, let's deal with that quickly. Orders. Structure. Metal wall. So let's stick a wall in here. That'll cheer you up, won't it, grumpy? What's that, grumpy? Nothing will cheer you up. Oh, I'm sure you're joking, really. Uh, did I... Oh, I messed that bill up, did I? Oh, let's configure that. Do until you have X. Until you have 8. There we go. That's better. But still, we have... 
eight meals there, so people will be able to eat those. That's great. And we have Miriam, who hopefully will be a, a, a wonderful addition, addition to the colony. Not very nice place where she's staying at the moment, but we'll work on that soon. That's it, Tigress. You do a fantastic job for the colony. But I think you do too much at the moment, so we'll have to start splitting your job up. But while we're thinking about it... Reduction? No. Misc? Yes. Let's have a research bench. There we go. And Actually, while I'm thinking about it, a couple other things we could use. Yes, Tigress, you go for it. Uh, we could use... A light in the the prisoner area I think so let's chuck one of those in while I'm thinking about it furniture not a sun lamp uh, misc furniture yes I thought it was furniture there we go so we'll have a sun lamp in there and that will make Miriam a little bit happier a group of pirates they're attacking immediately let's have a quick look at them oh Tigris you're in a bad way there aren't you let's get you away from there and let's get these guys Let's draft them. Do you guys have weapons? Jono, you do. I'm fairly certain of that. Yes, Jono, you do. So let's get you here. Grumpy, you have a pistol. Excellent. So let's get you here as well. And Tigress, I'm going to draft you so you drop that. And I want you to get back here as quickly as you can. Well, they dropped in the terrible place, didn't they? But... Let's see what we can do to defend ourselves here. Ooh, it's nearly 40 minutes, but I want to see this resolved first. There we go. Not the best of situations, but I'm sure we can do something about it. Come on, Grumpy, you're supposed to shoot, not get shot. You know, they're just armed with pistols. You can deal with them. You're not going to last much longer, are you, Grumpy? Let's pull you back for a minute. There we go. Oh, dear. Tigress. Kindly rescue Grumpy. There we go. Come on, Jono. You can do it. Ah, that's good. Tell you what. Let's go down here. That's it. Yeah, you got the better weapon, so you should be able to deal with this quite easily. I said you can deal with this quite easily. I said you can deal with this quite easily. I said you can shoot the ground right next to it with no problems whatsoever and totally miss the pirate because, hey, who wants to shoot the pirate? That worked. He hit the pirate. Reserve psychology. You've got to love it, haven't you? Tigress, you come back here quickly just in case. There we go. I don't think I actually want these guys. But we've got one anyway. So, let's pick in a sleeping spot in here. There we go. And let's have a quick look at this guy. Calhoun. He's a Luddite. He's capable of intellectual or caring. But he's good at mining and he's good at growing and he's good at construction so I think to be totally honest with you welcome to the colony whether you like it or not Jono would you kindly capture Calhoun and Tigress let's undraft you would you kindly go back to whatever it was you were doing eating there we go that's a good one Right, let's uh, allow the people to pick those up and let's mark him for hauling so he'll get moved up here and out of sight, out of mind for a bit I suppose. We'll make some graves for them later on if that starts to build up or we can um, research some... Uh, what, what can we research? We can research crema cre cremation. There we go, that's the word. Cremation. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there. We've survived our first serious attack. We have ourselves a couple of new 
Um, prisoners? Actually, when I'm thinking about it, Mount Calhoun, how are you? What state are you in? Let's have a quick look at you as a, a prisoner. First of all, we'll try to recruit you. There we go. And how are you thinking? You're not very happy at the moment, but hopefully you'll get better. Miriam, how are you doing? Oh, you're much better. You're urgently hungry, are you? Well, someone will be along to feed you in a little bit. In fact, Grumpy, do some wardening. Grumpy is incapacitated. Ah, we don't have a warden at the moment. Oh, yes, we do. We have Jono. Jono! I know you're busy, old son, and I know you're not feeling too happy, but would you kindly feed Miriam? There we go. Excellent. Well done, that man. And then you can go and have a well-deserved rest. Right, we'll leave it there, and we'll pick it up next episode. Please like and subscribe and all that. I've been Simon Parsons, and this has been RimWorld. Good night.